Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. I've got a couple of different videos out there on technical trading. This one is technical trading part four. Uh, I've done a three, the other three part series is before this, which is a little bit more basic. Candlesticks, chart patterns, uh, a little bit more of momentum and whatnot. This one is looking more at behind the patterns and connecting things together and flowing it together. And this is also very important because it helped me understand kind of how things were interconnected and how the patterns worked, you know, behind the scenes, so to speak, if you connect the candlesticks together and look at it from more of an analog type um, viewpoint. So I'm going to go in here. It's, uh, it's called behind the patterns. And we're looking deeper than just the patterns. We're looking still at energy, power, momentum. And, and interconnecting all this flow together. So understanding the patterns, understanding how the patterns work and why is very important in technical analysis. Uh, I tend to only use candlestick chart patterns, but this paints enough of the picture for me that I need, and I don't use any of the other, we'll call it tertiary indicators, like relative strength indicator, uh, some of the um, lagging indicators. I don't necessarily use those. Uh, all the other stuff is just kind of background information for me. You need to start seeing candlesticks and how they flow together. Uh, if, you, if I show you this, you may understand kind of a little bit better what the candlesticks mean if you look at it from an analog perspective uh, of, of two days and the, and the price movements added together. And I'm going to show you that uh, as an example. So these, th this is where these patterns gain their validity and value, is when you start looking at everything flowing together. So I drew two candlesticks here. One of them's a down day, one of them's an up day that's next to it. One's got this wick, and this is what the, the chart did from an analog standpoint. Throughout the day, it came up, pulled back, and closed. That's all it did, is it kind of came up, came down, and closed. And this is what the candlestick looks like. So this created this candlestick. And obviously this can move differently throughout the day and still close. But in general, if you were to chart the momentum or the velocity, it would look something like this. Then the next day, it created a candlestick that looked like this. And what it did is it started out from this. This is the opening price right here. And then it went out throughout the day it went up and then closed down here with the momentum coming down. And then the next day, the momentum maintained and reversed very quickly and sharply upward. And it's a very large uh, day and it had a very large candlestick body. And when we combine these two candlesticks together, the flow looks like this as a continuous flow. So this flow behind it behind these two candlesticks combined is this. And you could chart it. I mean, you could put a downtrend line here. And when it breaks the downtrend line, you buy it right here. So you'd be buying it right at the bottom and then ride it all the way up. Now, you wouldn't have seen this just by looking at the candlesticks individually as they paint these candlesticks on a chart. You'd almost want to see it as this because when you see it come and turn up and break this downtrend, you'd want to buy it and then ride it on up. And this has a lot of power and momentum and energy in this move to the upside. And it finished strong with the momentum going to the upside as it indicates the candlestick here. So you can tell by looking at these candlesticks, eventually, if you understand how it trades behind the scenes and the flow and how it's interconnected. So momentum tells us distance traveled over time, which is a function of power. Power is the function of pressure for either buyers or sellers. So it's the buying pressure or the selling pressure, and that is power. This allows us to see past the canvas and patterns only. And you see how these buyers and sellers are interacting with each other behind the scenes by looking at the power and the function and the momentum of the, of the candlestick, of how these things flow together. This can give us clues to what is going to happen 
before it actually happens. And what I mean by before it actually happens, before it actually breaks out of a pattern, you can see the momentum and power before it happens. You can interconnect these candlesticks together if you're looking at a candlestick chart and see the big power and momentum because that is the distance traveled over time. Your time is one candlestick or one day. And you can see how powerful the buyers are in relationship to the sellers. And then you can interconnect those that flow of candlesticks as a single continuous trading move, if that makes sense. So look for constant flow and power combined. Seeing the amplitude or the power and the connectedness is why some of these candlestick patterns are useful and that's why they work. It is telling us the power and direction behind the move. If you see a pattern and you see the power behind it, you can take calculated bets before the pattern is even broken based off of the power and the flow. You can also look at charts differently than you did before than just drawing the lines on the chart. You're looking for the power behind it and the momentum and the velocity. It's not just drawing lines. Always tie market conditions and value to really kill it. Make sure you've got the wind at your back because that will save you if your chart analysis isn't spot on. I'm gonna talk a little bit about patterns. So patterns are just, they're just a line connecting many turning points. It's where buyers and sellers previously had battles between each other. That's all it is. The more battles that have occurred, the stronger the resistance and support that line becomes. It means more memories for more people at those spots. More buyers, more sellers, or I consider them congestion areas. I'm gonna pull up a chart here, which is SM Energy. It's one of our companies that we follow on the channel. And you can tell like I drew a line here with two contact points. This one has one, two, three, four, and then it comes back, goes up through it, there's another contact point there, another contact point, another contact point. This is a pretty strong line here, and we just broke through it. Now, if you're watching SM Energy, you're seeing a very powerful move to the upside, and that move happened after it broke out of this trend line. It broke to the upside, and it's kind of running now. So that's, that's a good thing. But I wanted to touch on the trend line is stronger um, the more times it hits it. And when it breaks through it, it, it might have taken a lot of energy from SM Energy to break through that resistance line. And sometimes they rest and back test afterwards before they move higher because it took all the power and energy out of the, out of the buyers, so to speak, before it can move higher. They got to regroup. This is SM Energy charting another pattern, you know, one hit, two hit, three hit, four hit, five hit, six hit. And when we broke, notice how we broke out through here and then it rested a little bit. It was like, man, I'm tired. Let me rest a little bit before we move up again. This didn't really pull all the way back, which means this thing is ultra strong. This means that we have an alpha cheetah on our hands, not a beta cheetah. This is an alpha cheetah. This is one that doesn't like doing back tests. It is massively strong. It has taken its steroids to the max. It's ready to go and roll. Next, breaking pattern. So think of power as energy. You've got buyers or sellers, and that energy can go either way. But if the wind's at our back, most, most likely you're going to have buyers if, if, if the wind's going to push it to the upside. So the stock only has so much power at one time. It's not infinite. It doesn't just go straight up. If a stock breaks through a major resistance level where many battles have been fought before, the stock is going to need to use a lot of energy to break through that major resistance. I call, I call these areas congestion areas because it's where they've done many, many battles in the same area. And it takes a lot of strength to break through those areas. And maybe even it takes a lot of time because there's so many buyers and sellers in those areas previously. 
and now they may stay all, still own the stock and they want to sell that stock off at that price. They're like, oh, I'm going to wait until it gets back to $7 before I sell my shares. It hits $7 where they bought it and then they sell their shares. And the, the longer an area has a congestion area, the more buyers and sellers are in those areas. And that's why you, you see stocks kind of pause at those areas or pull back to those areas because there's a lot of sellers just above that area because it, it broke that price level that they want to sell at. So uh, it rests for a little while at the top of the pattern where buyers and sellers fight and then eventually the buyers win because the conditions are at your back to push this thing going forward. Here's SM Energy. I'm going to talk about this one again. Uh, you can tell you draw a line across here. There's a lot of buyers down here. Big move higher through here. And this candlesticks are very small and it's just selling off because the conditions weren't ripe enough yet for this to take off. Wick on the bottom. Bullish piercing. Big candlestick up, small candlestick with the down days leaking off because the sellers are not there. This is the time you go long and get aggressive. You move up and notice how the down days are very small and compact. We broke a downtrend line here. It went up, rested for a little bit, and now we're moving higher again. So this is looking very excellent. So power is energy. The larger up and down days, volatility, is the power of the company or the chart. So when you see these things drop massively, like this guy, Notice how this is a buck 50 all the way to $8 in only a very short time frame. This is less than a year. That is a very powerful stock. It's going to move to the upside very powerful. And the more power, it has more energy, which means higher, more gains. Seeing the power in the chart is something I look at. I evaluate that. Typically, it is companies with higher debt levels and smaller market caps on top of a very volatile commodity. It's all of that wrapped into one. This is what makes you money. This is what has those powerful moves to the upside to get you those 100 baggers, 200 baggers, or whatnot. You can't do it if the stock has no energy or power behind it. It's got to be volatile. It's got to have this power in order for you to make outsized gains of that type. So the interactions here. Look for signals of downright brute strength. I'll show you what some of those look, look at. Look for no backtesting of gaps. Look for no full backtest of patterns. I call this the ultimate alpha cheetah on steroids. Notice every little thing when you're looking at the chart. These are all signs of buyer to seller ratios. And when you look at this, I have this downtrend uh, posted here. Uh, we, we, we're coming up. Shoulder, head, shoulder, we come back down. We've got this, this chart break here, and we've got some gaps that never back tested. This thing's got some massive speed. Gap here, gap here, just absolute power. Came up, broke through, rested a little bit, because this is a massive line, one hit, two hit, and it's, it's, a big, it's a big boy line. Came through, and it didn't really pause very long. It just freaking went straight up higher. It's like, I'm out of here. I'm an alpha cheetah. Why do I need to rest? I'm gonna zoom in. Just to show you some other things here to, to show you. Big move higher. Now, this is what I'm talking about noticing everything. This is higher than this. It's not coming back. We've got, look for wicks on the bottom here. Wick on the bottom, wick on the bottom. See how this is increasing in strength? The body candle sizes are increasing on this up. And then we have, we hit this pattern here, this downtrend, and then it just did nothing. Like the sellers didn't, they, they, they have no answer for this. They're like, where, what sellers? And exactly, that's what we're looking for is what sellers are here? There's none. It just goes sideways. No strong bounce back, nothing. It's like, ooh, this thing's about to head to the upside. Because if you look, it covered a very large distance in three candlesticks. And in one, two, three, four, it went nowhere. Big distance moved, little distance moved back. Now think of this as one continuous pattern. Up, 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 and then the smooth little uh, move back. This, this has got nothing. Boom, higher. Now we're out of the chart pattern. We cleared it. Came up, came back, did not back test. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Little move, bullish engulfing, 
boom, you had to, this was a lot of energy to punch through this. Now this is Centennial Resource Development. Came back a little bit just sideways, big distance covered with a lot of power, not much coming back on top of this support line. Of course you're gonna buy it here. And look, it even contracted right here. Boom, 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 big power move. This thing's got a ton of power. And the, the chart on Centennial looks, in, 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 it's got a ton of energy behind it and a ton of power. And that's why I picked up Centennial Development Energy, or resource, Centennial Resource Development. So the conclusion here is, respect the power and momentum of a stock. When you develop your skills, you can harness this power for good to your portfolio, not from it. <laughs> That's important. You gotta know what you're doing because they can take a lot of money from you very quickly. All trading days are interconnected and can be viewed as one constant trading flow. And that's how I view these charts. Patterns are where battles are won and lost. Watch for previous battlegrounds and where that, those congestion areas are because that's where you're gonna see the, 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 the stock kind of pause up. You know, it's gonna pause right there. Maybe it back tests. And, and if you're seeing a pause area and you're seeing a company back test, try to look for the support and resistance lines. Draw them in, you know, back out of the chart and see if you can find where the resistance lines and support lines are. Because if you can find something that broke out and is now acting as a support line, buy it off the support line. And again, again, look for the cheetah. They're fast. Do not, do not avoid the cheetah. Look for them. Look for companies that have very large movements, very volatile. And dip your toes in if you got the cojones to get in there because you're gonna learn real fast. You're gonna lose either a lot of money or you're gonna gain a lot of money. What I'm trying to do on this channel is better prepare you guys for reading charts and, and, and ready, readying you for those big volatility companies. With big volatility comes very big rewards, but it also comes at very high risk. If you don't know what you're doing, that money will be taken from you very quickly. So you gotta know your conditions, know your valuations, learn these technical uh, charts. Look for power in the charts, look for momentum, look for all the little signals that you can tell that this thing's got strength and is moving into maybe a resistance line or a resistance pattern. Look for that power behind it. Use it to your advantage. Harness it, use it, and, and you will be paid very handsomely for accurately, accurately seeing these chart patterns. If you guys like this content, you gotta subscribe. I've, I'm gonna come out with a lot of market updates that use this technical analysis. And even if you already know this technical analysis, maybe you haven't seen the companies that I find. And if you find companies, leave them in the comments section. Let me know what you see so I can look at them and benefit just like you're benefiting from this content. Thank you for, for viewing this. This is Finding Value.